Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday to you. It is the beginning of November. The leaves are changing. The leaves are falling. Beautiful time in North Carolina. This week, we have uh, been really busy. Work-wise, we had an employee out sick, so that kind of creates more work for the, for the for the remaining staff. Uh, Wednesday, we had to, or I had to go to the lake with my brother and my parents um, to winterize the parents' lake house, winterize the boats. Truly first world problems that we have there, but when we got up there, it's just a beautiful time. It, the, the lake is such a nice place to be. It's quiet, it's peaceful. We were only there for a few hours, and then uh, then we went back home. Uh, to Durham, and um, while I was there, I was going to go have dinner with my oldest at State. Um, there was a little lull between when I was going to meet her and when um, we got back to, to Durham, so I went by and saw a, a client of mine in Durham, and just a great time then, headed over to State, over to Raleigh, had a great dinner with my daughter. Um, this is the cool part. We were, after we ate um, at a really hipster restaurant, they made breakfast hipster, um, which is, I'm not sure how that happened. Um, it was good though. We went back to, to campus. We were walking down to the student union to get some ice cream. And lo and behold, there appeared a lip sync contest. I guess the soror it's that time of year where sororities and fraternities have whatever they're doing at state. I know we when we had them in Appalachian, it was I don't think it was this time of year, but they were having lip sync battles and I felt like Phil Dumphy and I was standing up videotaping this lip sync battle because oh my goodness, I was that was my spot. And my daughter standing beside me like she could care less. Um anyways, we had a great, great time after that. Uh came home <clears throat> And then, you know, rest of the week is just sort of come and gone. Um, but what this got me thinking of this uh, this week, seeing the leaves on the ground, um, having some reminiscing times, is the fact that fall is a great time for you to get rid of the old stuff in your life. And what do I mean by that? Well, there are things that we hold on to that are detrimental to our mind, our body, our soul. Uh, whether it's in business, whether it's in personal relationships, whether it's just stuff, fall is a great time to look at what the Lord does for us. The Lord says, you know what? These trees are going to grow back again beautiful, but first we need to prune them. We need to have them lose all of their leaves. We need to have the grass die off so that they can regenerate. So where in your life can you make that happen? In business, I am constantly trying to learn to stay ahead of uh, the industry. But there are so many in our industry, in the insurance business, that they think, well, I've done it this way for 20 years and I've been you know, successful, and they have. There's no reason to change. There's no reason to have a website that has been updated in the last 10 years or 20 years, whenever it is. There's no need to be on social media. There's no need to put in new systems. Everything has worked fine up until now. Well, those are also the same companies, and it's not just my industry that this is a problem with. It's every industry. If you're not changing and evolving, you're withering and dying, and sooner or later, all of your leaves are going to fall off the tree, and you're going to get swept up under the rug. In your relationships, what are the habits that you have right now that you need to discard? You know, or are you and your spouse not communicating well? Well, then get rid of those. Start anew. Start afresh. Do you have people in your life that are toxic? If you do, it's time to get rid of them. It's okay. We're not meant to be great with everybody. Sometimes people just do not mix. They're oil and water. Let them go. You'll be better off for it and you will grow. Uh in your physical being, 
if you're doing things now that aren't you know leading you down a path of being healthier, then stop. Now's a great time. Don't wait till January 1st. That's when everyone does it. It'll be too crowded in the space. You won't be able to do it. You'll get frustrated. Do it today. Fall. Shed the bad habits. Start afresh. Do something. You know, having said all that, what I have learned is sometimes the old can give us perspective. It can bring some joy. Um, so you embrace your past. Embrace the successes that you've had. But understand that the past is just that. It's the past. Move forward. Hey, guys, have a great weekend. Um, we've got a busy weekend. Cooper, my youngest son, is doing a CrossFit competition uh, up uh, in Eden, North Carolina this weekend. Um, other than that, hopefully we'll get a little bit of rest uh, because we're coming into a busy time of year. Make sure you take some time for yourself. Make sure you take some time for your family. Remember, get rid of the bad. It's a great time. Embrace, have room for growth by getting rid of that bad stuff. We'll talk to you next week.